It's placed all over things, so pilgrims have been visiting the site as well as the monks inside since then. But it wasn't until 1523 that what we see today was completed. Amazing though to think that this was built entirely with human hands centuries ago. And of course, times change, so Mont Saint Michel Abbey isn't seeing too hey many guys, pilgrims. These you're coming out of the gospel, of Exodus. Chapter 4 And Moses answered and said, But it be old! They will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto thee. And the Lord said unto him, What is, what is that in thy hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground. And it, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. And the Lord said unto Moses, Put forth thine hand, and take it uh, by the tail. And he put forth his hand, and caught it. And it became a rod in his hand, and that they may believe that the Lord God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, have appeared unto thee. And the Lord said furthermore unto him, Put now thy hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. And he said, put thy hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his uh, bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom. And uh, behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe thee, and neither hearken to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the later sign. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe also these two signs, neither hearken unto thy voice, that thou shalt take of the water of the river, and pour it upon the dry land. And the water which thou takest out of the river shall become blood upon the dry, dry land. And Moses said unto the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither heretofore, nor, hint, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant. But I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth? Or who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go. And I will be with thee, with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. And he said, O my Lord, send I pray thee by the hand of him whom thou wilt send. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. And he said, Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well. And also, Behold, he cometh forth to meet thee. And when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. And thou shalt speak unto him, and put words in his mouth. And I will be with thy mouth, and with his mouth, and will teach you what you shall do. And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people, and he shall be even, he shall be to thee instead of a mouth. And thou shalt be to him instead of God. And thou shalt take his, take this rod in thy hand, wherewith thou shalt do the sign. And Moses went and returned to Jethro, his father-in-law, and said unto him, Let me go, I pray thee, and return unto my brethren which are in Egypt, and see whether they be yet alive. And Jethro, Jethro said to Moses, Go in peace. And the Lord said unto Moses in the medium, Go, return to, un, into Egypt, for, I, for all the men are dead which sought thy life. And Moses took his wife and his sons and set them upon an ass. And he returned to the land of Egypt, and Moses took the rod of God in his hand. And the Lord said unto Moses, When thou goest to return into Egypt, see that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thine hand. But I will harden his heart, that he shall not let the people go. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, thus says the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I say unto thee, let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, 
I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. And it came to pass, by the way in the end, that the Lord met him and sought to kill him. Then Jepporah took a sharp stone and cut off the foreskin of her son and cast it at his feet and said, Surely a bloody husband art thou to me. So he let, me, so he let him go. Then she said, A bloody husband thou art because of the circumcision. And the Lord said to Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. And he went and met him in the mount of God and kissed him. And Moses told Aaron all the words of the Lord who had sent him and all the signs which he had commanded him. And Moses and Aaron went and gathered together all the elders of the children of Israel. And Aaron spake all the words which the Lord had spoken unto Moses and, and did the signs in the sight of the people. And the people believed. And when they heard that the Lord had visited the children of Israel and that he had looked upon their affliction, then they bowed their heads and worshiped. Perch right on top of a tidal island. The Mont Saint Michel Abbey hangs just off the beautiful coast of Normandy in the northwest region of France and is without a doubt one of the most interesting sights the country has to offer. It's an enormous abbey full of chapels and cloisters that manages to snug itself in between all of the historical buildings, halls, and trees of the town below. But from afar, Mont Saint Michel Abbey looks more like a castle than it does a place of worship. And you know, it even looks like a castle close up. The abbey itself has been around since at least the 9th century, when God was placed all over things, so pilgrims have been visiting the site as well as the monks inside since then. But it wasn't until 1523 that what we see today was completed. Amazing though to think that this was built entirely with human hands centuries ago. And of course, times change, so Mont Saint Michel Abbey isn't seeing too many pilgrims these days.